So what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good Friday night. I'm gonna get my moon glow out for you. This is my favorite snake in the collection. It's pretty much my favorite of all the genetics and boas. Um, this is an orange gasm line. This is a five-year-old female. And she is a spectacular snake. Solid seven and a half feet long. And I just adore her. Tried breeding her this past winter with my male Annery. Thought that she was gravid, ended up not being gravid. So we'll get back at it this coming season. Give them another year under their belt. Feed them up. And hopefully we have a little more luck this time. I would love to have a bunch of baby snows and moon glows. So, <clears throat> let me try to see if I could get her to go towards the camera a little bit. No, maybe. Going up by my neck. All right, so she's got a little bit of nose rub. Not a big deal. She's already shed, cleared up pretty good. But, you see that white six foot cage to my left? That is what it's from. I got that cage for her, and uh, I just wanted to give her a little more space. I didn't think it was going to, um, I thought it was too big, but I thought it wouldn't hurt. Um, but it ended up being counteractive in the end, so she, she didn't like it. She was pushing all the time. She just, there was too much open space. So... I actually have her in a 70 series tub, which she's clearly too big for, but it works for now. She really likes it in there. She's shed, she's been eaten. Um, so her nose rub and her pushing has stopped. So I have some Freedom Breeder uh, and a 66.5 coming in for her, and that'll work for her entire life. That's more than enough room. Um, she's seven and a half feet, so she'll maybe put on another foot and some thickness over the course of her life. Good size snake. But yeah, guys, so don't always think bigger is better. I know there's a lot of talk of that. I've gotten a lot of crap from that on forums when I am on Facebook, which I'm usually not. Um, it's been my experience for a long time, mostly with reticulated pythons, not boas. So I, you know, didn't know what to expect. Uh, but a lot of times the extra space will make them either defensive or they push their face off, really. Um, and it can get pretty bad. So I took her out and it's worked wonders. So hopefully I can get this rack in sometime soon and get her out of the 70. Um... <clears throat> And I actually have that cage up for sale. It's a great cage. I really like it. It's just, just too big. Really need to be retick or a berm and something like that. Um, she definitely liked her four foot cage. So this is her. Oh, my arms are getting tired. Let me back up, maybe get it better. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, you have a good night.